two members cannot pay tax advance tax who are those the first person is called as age above 60 and the second person whose taxable limit is less than 250000 we have lottery here so separate calculation of 30% if it is a long term capital gain separate calculation of 20% A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Alessa here. Lecture in Vidyashram First Aid College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your Corporate Tax Planning Unit 7, Session 4. In this, we are discussing the topic called Tax Payment. You know what is Tax Payment? Under this, what do we have? We have topic called your TDS, Advanced Tax, TCS, as well as Double Taxation. These are the topics we are discussing, but you will get problems only on TDS as well as advanced tax. Now, we're done with your topic called TDS and now we are discussing your topic called advanced tax. In the previous session, I worked out and I explained you the concept called advanced tax. As you know that two members cannot pay tax, advanced tax. Who are those? The first person is called as age above 60 and the second person whose taxable limit is less than 250,000. If these two persons are not liable to pay tax. Now, so in today's session, we'll work out two problems on advanced tax so that you will understand better what are the calculations. And in the previous session, I told you while calculating advanced tax, first thing is what? You have to find out your total tax, total value, then you have to bifurcate your long term horse race, crossword puzzle, lottery and rest of the things you know the limit up to 2,50,000 no tax, 2,50 to 5 lakh it is 5%, 5 lakh and above up to 10 lakh it is 20%, 10 lakh and above we go for 30% of tax. For everything we have one more extra thing that is called as education says. We are supposed to calculate education says of 4%. Remember that. So after doing that, if there are any TDS are paid, we are supposed to minus and you are supposed to calculate your final answer. Now, as per this, your problem number three, the following are the particulars are estimated income of Mr. Podar for the year ended 30, 2010 and 2021. Now, so particular as well as rupees like income from salary it is computed 6 lakh and income from house property it is 1 lakh 50,000 income from interest on government security it is 1 lakh 10,000 winning from lotteries it is a gross value of rupees 40,000 remember we have lottery here so separate calculation of 30 percent if it is a long term capital gain separate calculation of 20 percent remember these are the points like income from salary 6 lakh yes income from house property it is computed and income from interest on government security it is 1 lakh 10,000 and the lastly we have winning from horse race 40,000 40,000 means what remember we have to do it separately and in the bracket they have given gross no need to worry if net any net is given then we are supposed to calculate 100 by 70 now calculate the amount of advance tax payable by him by various installment how many installments are there four tax on 12,000 has been deducted at source on lottery income and to 5,000 from salary so how much period 12,000 plus 5,000, already you paid 17,000 tax. Whatever the final tax payment you will get from that, you are supposed to minus 17,000 because already you have paid. Now, so after this, what you are supposed to do? Calculate now 6 lakh, 1 lakh 50, 1 lakh 10, 40,000. Add everything. 6 lakh, 1 lakh 50, 1 lakh 10,000, 40,000. Total how much? 9 lakh. What is the total amount? 9 lakh. And in this, you have like calculate and he deposited. It is not income, it is a payment. Always concentrate 
we are calculating tax only on income, not on payments. So, he deposited 10,000 for public provident fund, ATC. Public provident fund, we call it as ATC. Now, you are supposed to minus 10,000. Your answer is 8,90,000. Hope you are clear. Yes, you got answer of 8,90,000. Now, so your total income, we get 8,90,000. Now, you are supposed to calculate tax on 8,90,000. Now, out of 8,90,000, like as you know that you have income from other source, what is the value of other source? 40,000. Separate calculation for 40,000. See, 40,000 into 30%, you will get 12,000 as your tax. Then, tax on other income. So, what was your total value? Your total value was 8,90,000. Out of 8,90,000, we Separated 40,000, remaining is 8,50. Now calculate 8,50,000 up to 2,50,000 nil. Next 2,50,000, 5%, it will come 12,500. Up to 5 lakh is over 2.5, 2.5, up to 5 lakh is over. Remaining is how much? 8,50,000 minus 5 lakh. You will get how much? 3,50,000. 8,50,000 minus 5 lakh, you will get 3,50,000. Now, so 3,50,000 you have on that, what is the calculation? 20%. You will get around 70,000. Now your calculation, nil, 12,500 plus 70,000. What is your tax value? 82,500. Remember, always calculate like this. There is, There won't be any confusions. Now, your answer is 82,500. 12,000 plus 82,500, you got 94,500. On that what? 4% education says, like, 94,500 plus 4%, it will be 3,780. Your answer is 90,720. Hope you are clear. What is your tax payment? As per our calculation, your tax payment is 90,720. As I told you, once you're done with your calculation of tax payment, check how much tedious you're supposed to pay. Check how much tedious you're supposed to pay. So TDS is what? Already you paid 12 and 5. Already you paid 12 and 5. 17,000 you paid. Minus 17,000. Your taxable value is 73,720. What you are supposed to do now? Four installment. First, second, third, fourth. Which are those like? The four installments are very simple. The calculations are 73,720. How do you calculate simple one? 73,720, you are supposed to calculate four. First one will be 15%, second one 30%, third one 30%, fourth one 25%. Now, it will be 15%, 30%, 30%, 25%. If you calculate, 11,058, 22,116, 22,116, 18,430. These are your answers. Hope you are clear. Yes. So to make 45%, to make 75, to make 100. This is not required actually. Directly you can calculate your actual value with percentage. Now you got answer of 73,720 in 4 installment. This is all about your advanced tax, your problem number three. Now we'll go for problem number four, easiest one, we'll finish it up. So Rana estimate the income of assessment year 2021 at 6,90,000. So what is the income? 6,90,000. Besides this income, it also earned long term. Long term is always separate. What is the percentage? 20%. Then. Capital gain of 80,000. Remember, this 80,000, take it separately, calculate 20%. So, 
gold and compute the advanced tax payment. So date is immaterial, it is not required actually. Now, as per this tax on 6,90,000, see, directly, you no need to calculate what is your income, 6,90,000 plus 80,000, the total is 7,70,000. Is there any deductions? No. Any investment? No. So your answer is 7,70,000. Calculate tax separately, 6,90,000 separate tax and your 80,000 separate tax because long-term capital gain. Long-term capital gain always separate. Now, so in this tax on rupees 6,90,000, calculate. So how to calculate? Same procedure, 6,90,000 up to 2,50,000 nil. Next 2,50,000, 5%. So it will come 12,500. Hope you are clear. Next. Balance is how much? 6,90,000 minus the 5 lakh already calculated. So you will get 1,90,000. On this, what is the percentage? 20%. How much you will get? 1,90,000 into 20%, almost 3,80 something like 38,000. So what is the total tax? 38 plus 12, 50. 50,500. See, already you calculated 50,500. Now, as I told you, long-term capital gain is separate and tax percentage is 20. Now, 80,000 into 20%, 16,000. Total taxes, 66,500. What does education says? 4% on that, like 66,500 into 4%, 2,660. Total is 69,160. Hope you are clear. Good. 69,160 you got. Now what you are supposed to do is, this value you are supposed to pay in, Four installment. How do you calculate? See, there is a note for we have separated. So your first installment 15%, second installment 30%, third installment 30%, fourth installment 25%. Calculate 15% of this, 30% of this, and 30% of this, and this. Why did we calculate a different value means? For the first and second installment, tax on long-term capital gain will not be taken into account. At this accrued on 112 till December, that was not there. So why do you calculate tax for that? So after the due date of the first and second installment only, it came. So your first due June, second due September. So up to September, you did not have gold only with you. Why you pay tax for all four months? No, that's why first two installment only on 52,520, remaining on 69,160 later. Hope you are clear. Yes. How come you got 52,520 means 69,160 minus your tax value, like 50,500 plus 2,020. On that education says if you calculate, you will get 2,020. 50,500 plus education says it is 4% 2020. So on this what? 4%. So after calculating all these calculations, you will get 7,878, 15,000, 20,000, 17,000. All are your calculation for your advance tax. Now, I'll go back to all your previous slides. Please take screenshot. Problem number three, your solution part, your solution part, solution. Problem number four, your solution part, your solution part. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Yes. 
So we done two problems on advanced tax. With this, I'll conclude your topic called advanced tax. In the next session, we'll go with a new topic. Thank you.